3D glasses again. So this is Tiger Woods, and um, he had a great run at it here. Um, so on the Masters, we had eight cameras that were shadowed, meaning run by the 2D production. Uh, this is a 2D camera picking up the ball here. Um, but it's a 3D piggyback camera. So this whole hole was covered with both 2D and 3D, same operator. Um, this is a shared camera off of a robo um, that we're using. So the idea here was to utilize camera systems where we can steal an eye, um, or share an eye, if you will. And here is the 2D jib crane with a shared eye on the walkthrough here. So we're extracting the two eyes, and, and 2D production is, is you know, commanding the crane and commanding the, um, uh, the framing. So now what's starting to happen here is we're integrating into the 2D production. And on my monitor wall inside our mobile unit, I can see both 2D framing and 3D framing to, to judge the performance of the camera systems. And I can tell you that step by step, compared to our 3D cameras on other holes, they matched our framing exactly. They picked up shots that they wanted to work with that were very much complementary to the shots that we were crafting for the 3D. All of these camera movements, all of these pullbacks are being driven by the 2D show here. So you can see the slow creep in, you see the framing to isolate them. Um, all of that stuff um, is coming for free to us, except for the technology that sits on the camera. This is a high-speed shot. Uh, this is a 4A camera that was recently introduced at NAB. I saw them at NAB, I think, last year. And this is the first 3D shots coming from it. Uh, we did a preliminary thing with the All-Star game. And then um, we're doing 700 frames here with uh, Tiger Woods um, at the par 5. So that gives you an insight of um, you know, some of the masters, but the key here is trying to integrate the 3D with the 2D. Um, if I gave you a map of masters just to explain to you as a production, we had 18 cameras on um, the masters this year. Um, six of them were shadow-based units, and for those of you who don't know what a shadow is, it's a camera system that sits on top. It's a 3D camera. We could either sit on top or we could sit to the side. And the 2D operator, who usually has a box lens of 86 yeah. times or 101 times lens on there, will pull the focus and the framing. And when he does that, we read the lens and feed that back into our 3D system, which then says, well, I know the subject's 60 feet away. I know he's on a 250 mil lens. Execute my camera into a focus at 60 feet and a um, uh, framing of maybe 125 mil, or the same if, if we feel it's a good framing. And one other key to that is we're actually intersecting the subject. So we've added to the motion controller of the Fusion Foundation. Um, if it's on the side, if you can imagine, when he says it's at 60 feet, we actually intersect that 60 foot mark. Yeah, it's meaning so the camera can move relative. Yeah. There's a little bit of additional motion control. Yeah, exactly. But it's hands off. There is no convergence puller. There is no 3D operator. There is no other position on the um, on the platform. But this is this is the part I enjoy. It, it's trying to come up with solutions because it all started with the NBA where we wanted to get this great slash position, but we couldn't. We just couldn't. And we had to find other solutions, and we were very creative in trying to find those positions. But in the end, the one that we wanted was you know, uh, not able to attain for the 3D production. What you're seeing is technology that breaks that barrier, puts us with them. So again, for the masters, with six uh, shadows. There was two shared robos and two wow. shared jibs. Um, and we split up the control of those, you know, two and two each. So out of the 18 cameras, 10 of the production were, you know, being shared or integrated into the 2D production. 